Ooh, they damage track the perfect guard. That might come back to bite him later. He's thinking about guarding. Well, in the era of Legion, guarding early is not a punishable offense anymore. I'm not even sure he's afraid of getting critted. I think he's more doesn't want his opponent to plus thanks to Judge Bear. So he's trying to dodge that. Uh, uh, it's like he didn't have enough guard in hand to do it. Well, 5k power fracture defense keeps that 10k off his back. But those two grade 1 calls is going to really hurt quite a bit. I didn't know how good Judge Val was. That's pretty insane. It's it's kind of broken in my opinion. Because mm. it doesn't even specify if you have to call Avengers. Just grade ones, period. Yep, grade ones or less. Wow. You guys the break up? shots. Mm. Solid heal trigger evens up everything else, but that 5k defense is always relevant. He also put the trigger to his rear guard, so it evens up. It's just that if neither ever happen. Just cancel each other out. Maybe we're still going to guard accordingly since he's... Once again, luxury of Legion. You can black as much as you want. I think he's more prepping for Legion than any other thing at this point. Gotta make sure you have your triggers and look great for that. Abyss coming. Snipe. His starter. Ooh, Brian is gonna hurt that. He's definitely gonna miss that since that's a big end for his actually getting these draws off. He's thinking about do I want to give him? Break out? Oh, that's a double crit. Ooh, put some of the clean fire damage. That's a solid 20 over there. Unboosted. Plus extra. Well, at least that puts um, the break right on. Online? Ooh, with the Legion, too. Break right Legion. This mate's going to Can Brian push for game right here? I wonder if a great nature has the ability to put someone from two to six. I've never seen it happen before. There's always first ever taking a vanguard. You never can count someone out, right? If I need a good couple of triggers and it's over with. The feeling I have is he's still the shadow pile in the place. He's going to no guard a lot just because of the fact he wants to break guard. The question becomes how exactly how much damage is he willing to eat in order to get there because he might be sitting at five for his whole thing's over with. I'm not sure from the tree, but it doesn't look like the Shadow Paladin player has a perfect guard in hand. He's missing a trigger. Legion's gonna swing in for some good numbers. Double crit here wins it. Fresh check? Nope. Doesn't get it. Strong one damage. And a draw trigger. So that now what happens here is that there's gonna be a whole lot of a eating whole lot and drawing. Oh, plus three cards to hand. Wow. No, it gets worse. But he's searching for something else. Oh, any unflips of damage. It's quite the janky scenario when that break right legion takes place. It's almost like he goes up almost a good four to six cards. He's going to attack with his own break right legion. 
Yes, but at this point, he has awkward columns because he be he has the three necessary to sack for the skill, but it would be a 10k attacker and a whole column. And again, Oh man. Either way, he's already at 5 damage. You can't afford to eat any of this, but once again, he drew quite a few cards off his Break Right Legion, so he's probably ready for the long weather or all of this. Rocky decided to attack with both commas first. If I remember right, that's a solid, what, 32? At the Vanguard? Thanks to the Break Right? I believe so. It's quite, quite the number unboosted, which is just terrifying to think about. And even if he guards this, Christopher <laughs> He lived. Yeah. The question is, does he live past the second swing of this? Because now this is a boosted column. Perfect guard. Just enough. Plus, buying to drop his, his entire hand, though. Which means he needed every single draw that he got. Oh, and a heal trigger. At least at this point, he no longer has to worry about him re-legioning and using the skill. Looks like he, Robbie has a, at least a, 10 cards in him. He's nowhere near as worried. It's terrifying because there's quite a few triggers in there. Perfect guard. Brian is facing an uphill battle at this point. You know what's scary is he guarded all that and it still feels like he has a full hand of tricks to use. Hmm. Well, on the same token, he has no counter blast, so. Oh, he unflips one. I forgot Shadows have that ability. It's quite the terrifying scenario. It's pretty much the only reason people still run uh, the regular Blast of Dark Adventure with Dorian, just so he can unflip damage. It's a good scenario. I think Brian's conceding to go ahead and take him the 6 damage and hope it for a heal. No, uh, looks like he, he's just going to have to take the Vanguard. Oh. Nope, he, he falls to the regard. And Robbie gets king too. Nothing says excitement after game three, though, because both the opponents feeling good about getting one out the way. It's a matter of who closes it out from here. Um, after the breakout turn from Robbie, Brian really didn't have the cards he needed to come back from that. It's because all the cards he gained from his Break Right Legion were used in order to prevent him from losing out on that last push. That and even true. after that, he had two cards left on the initial push while he was still staring down at least six to eight cards in Robbie's hand. I the wish there was Masquerades and a Boss Dark Revengers for unflipping. It was almost nothing left he could have did except take that six and pray for a heal. Now Legion format that is much more common though. Making on the heal coming through? Um, no, actually getting the heal. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you got more than 16 triggers in your deck, you're bound to hit the heal more often than not, right? In Legion format, I, I wouldn't even say it's 16, because almost every time you Legion, you you put back majority triggers. So I would say it's a, a easily 24 triggers in your deck if if you Legion more than once. 24, and I even counting any perfect graphs that are going in. It's, it's quite a terrifying scenario, but on the same token, it lets you be a little more free with your guard. It really does. Because used to be a time where, like I said... When this also encourages game. people to run more critical triggers to me, because they're, they're going to get them back into the deck. So it rewards people for being reckless and aggressive. Quite the mulligan from Ryan. Looks like he put back. Ryan put back almost his entire hand. He kept one card.
Uh, you guys the perfect guy? Wait for the early punch. On one passes him. He gets the critical. Uh, that's always a downer. Oh, no, he didn't one pass. He must have got a trigger. No, that was a complete no pass on his regard. That was a 10k. He dropped down for that in order to prevent that uh, call from hitting as he should have. The pluses. One thing I'm noticing about um, Robbie's build is that he seems to more. I guess he wants to have as much hand as possible going through his plays. Would you say that's a shot pile and tactic? Is to always have a whole lot of hand in the to at the disposal, or is that more so you think it's just a unique tech on his behalf? Tough for something to think about. I think this is a good matchup based on the case that both decks have a pretty well-balanced draw power engine. Great Knights is a draw power engine. And then Robbie is running the Sword Breakers and with the Legion by itself, it pluses your hand. So in theory, it's really, so really it becomes a war of attrition then, really, who hits harder for... So it's really a battle of rear cards if I'm thinking about it correctly. Ooh, the sniper game by Robbie. He's making sure that starter remains nowhere near the field. Plus an unflip. It's almost like he got it for free. <laughs> if he's going to take that next damage, he goes ahead and heads on into right three land, perhaps. Oh no. That is quite the depressing scenario. It looks like Brian is gay stuff. Quite a band of existence for a lot of card fighters at the moment. Just the notion that you couldn't go to your next grade and you have to wait patiently until it comes to you. It wasn't quite behind the eight ball. Not to mention with the amount of hand that's already been garnished, it's just adding weight on top of an already sinking scenario. This is why so many people are so excited for the G6 mechanic to come out. To uh, put an end to this. To to end the notion of being grade stuck. On the plus side of things, his opponent cannot Legion since he is not a grade 3. I wonder if you count your blessings in that regard. As opposed to the heal coming through, so it's going to give him some time to wait for this to appear. There's no way he's getting out of this um, unscathed. He's going to be taking at least two hits here. It's one, two, three, right? Because he doesn't want to take that judge battle. But on the same token, he's great stuck, so the hand that you have is even smaller than it should be. He decided to no guard. On the plus side, he drew into one of his judge brows, which means he can only get, I mean, he drew into one of his black wing sword breakers. So on the plus side, he can't plus as much as he wants to. Okay, so he's missing his maximum plus on extra power just because he happened to have it in hand first. Go with one damage. Oh, and he gets but that hand is severely weakened. He rides the there. Well, he wasn't there for long, so it's a good sign that that was a case of point that he got to the grade three. He no guards. <laughs> but Robbie heals. This is a game of triggers indeed. Sniper in the rear guard, I guess. I feel like that's like the one standing point that I appreciate about the Shadow is just their ability to 
just wreak havoc on their post side of the field without even taking a swing. Of course, he was waiting for him to get that three, so the Legion would be online. He rethinks that attack and he wants to go to the rigor because he's only going to attack on the field because he has to eat one of those. And Very good choice. So now he gets the full attack amount with a four power 16k column, but he can still sack off the booster. Essentially, Legion this turn. Draw trigger adds a little bit. Another draw trigger. Oof. That hand. is how you go on her hand. Double draw. I'll wait. You gotta go get the car. I'm not not to mention the fact that he's getting ready to drive check again. This is about to be quite a hand advantage. Not to mention that great sucker really puts him behind the eight ball. He no guards again. That's probably the best scenario with that. He only took two damage. If you notice, he actually drew into the crit, so he actually managed to dodge some damage by him going through double draw that turn, so he actually saved a little bit of trouble on that. Brian is trying to figure out if he wants to do bigger right now. Holy heck. That's Looks like Brian has about 12 or 14 cards in here. Well, oh, I'm sorry, Rabbi. That's, that's quite and the he hand. Of a break guard. He dropped his hand. Sometimes you need to do it. And he perfect guards. Must be nice to have choices on whether you use a card in your left or a card in your right and a 13 card hand. And he takes two damage. Oh, he takes two damage. Yeah, he checked the crit and passed it. He's picking up some cards for Ryan drops too. Looks like he should get to search his deck too. Wasn't as much plus he could have garnered, but once again, given the fact that he's behind, sometimes you gotta take what you can get. And that's a lot of what Bang is about. He went from zero hand to five hand in a single turn. But he robbed you out to another Phantom Blaster, which he does. That might be the game, folks. Uh, at this point, it's a matter of time as opposed to how and when this happens. Would you say that him getting um, pushed and stuck in grade 2 for a turn really cost them this game? Um, I really would. Great sec is, I wouldn't say a major problem with Vanguard, but it definitely makes the game very much so one-sided. Oh, the Masquerade. I feel like he's determined to take on the Vanguard head on. Unless he has a perfect guard in hand, he's going to have to weather this. The first hit most likely, and the second hit's probably the one he fights off. Quite the pickle. What would you do, to you do in this situation? Honestly, I would... I take the first, and if I have enough to guard the second, I'd guard the second. I agree with because that. Because it's going to restand, and it's going to swing hard with the extra booster attached. Because uh -oh. I will bank on the triggers, because what that means is that whatever's left in my hand has to Heel hold trigger. Out. Ooh. The rich get richer. I think he plans on... Oh, and it broke it. He only one past him. He doesn't have enough to weather the second hit. That must have been the best he could have did. There's the crit. Oh, there's the double crit. Oh, jeez. Talk about salt on the wound. That's the game. Looks like match. gets the match. You know, a costly uh, time stack will do that to you sometimes. All right, that was our conclusion of our t first top eight match. We should be moving on to our top four very shortly.
for you guys. I think some of the matches are just finishing up right now. Um, thanks, my guys, for uh, commenting. So far, you guys did a great job. Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back to you guys in just a little bit. So thank you guys for tuning in for watching uh, RG's uh, Cry Five Vanguard tournament.